Something is definitely missing here. It's like all the pieces Clearly. are there, they're just mashed together this, wrong. Like, it, this sings like a verse though in my mind though. We are finishing up um, arranging songs, working out parts, working out how the song structures are going because tomorrow night we had to do the studio. We've been learning what it's like to try to write things for the mindset of the congregation. How are they going to be able to relate to it? I mean, we came back to one part where I smashed a lot into a little space lyrically mm -hmm. and just congregationally. We didn't think that would really work, so we sure. stretched that out. Because the ultimate goal of this project is to write music that is going to help other people connect to God on a spiritual level. It's tough to be in the middle of it, and then I'm like, well, I really like this, but I've been listening to it so much, maybe I don't know anymore. You have that look on your face like you know what the solution is, but you're not saying it. Okay, so Say what you start off the, who am I that you would think of me? It's a great way to start the song, because it just walks right up and right into the anticipation. But this is definitely chorus material. When I was pregnant with Colvin, my first child, I was terrified that he was going to be an ugly baby. Because I am not like a sensitive person or anything. I would be like, oh my gosh, my kid is ugly. I had an ugly kid. And um, I'm, I feel a little bit like this about the EP. Like if it doesn't turn out well, I'm not gonna be like starry-eyed about it. I'm gonna be like, crap, we, we made an ugly baby. Because it's a bittersweet ending where uh, this has been great. It has forced me to focus on something that I hold so dear and yet just don't put enough time into ever but this has forced me to do that. You know, videotaping a recording session is how the Beatles broke up.